All right, May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and so we wanted to talk about a treatment for PTSD that's getting some attention from therapists in our area. It's called ART, and as Evan Kozloff shows us, it involves eye movement. It does, at a glance, it does look ridiculous. Mary Alice Torby says her patients are sometimes skeptical, at least at first. I want you to do that black magic thing you do, <laughs> and I mean, sarcastically, but nonetheless, at a glance, if you're not a therapist, you do look at it like, what are they doing? She's talking about ART, short for Accelerated Resolution Therapy. In her practice, she uses blinking lights. These are tactile sensors which will vibrate in each hand. And vibrations to help those suffering from PTSD. The goal is to stop those triggers. If something falls into a dumpster and the rest of the world goes by thinking like, oh, that was a noxious noise. And for you, it sounded like a mortar coming in. The main concept here is called bilateral stimulation. That's when a patient takes in stimuli moving side to side. It could be visual, like these lights, or even a waving hand, as shown in this video created by the founder of ART, Lanny Rosenzweig. These movements can also be through touch or sound. Torpy says recalling a traumatic event while you look at this stimulus can fundamentally change the way you remember it. For you to consciously track the speed of this light, you have to keep in sync other parts of the brain. We're bringing on not just the amygdala who says, there I was, in Fallujah, there I was in that convoy. You're bringing on other parts of this whole orchestra in the brain that are gonna recode this memory that it's not going to be as intense, you can't. Torpy, who served herself, says this has great potential for veterans returning from war. You'll always carry these pieces of the war with you, but in instead of having it negatively impact their life, how can I get them back to a new baseline, thriving instead of just surviving? All right, so of course we wanted to make sure that this therapy was legit. So we reached out to the American Psychological Association. They said more research still needs to be done. Although they are generally optimistic about all this, they said the best thing to do if you're dealing with this, ask your therapist, because it might be, uh, you know, it might help you out. You know what I did like about this? She mentioned thriving instead of just surviving. And of course you talked to me about this a little bit off air. It's about some of the other reactions you can have to stimuli other than just the fight or flight. So it's, it's actually bringing back more functionality. And it's about the, the physical reaction that you have. So they might logically know they don't need to worry about that bang in the dumpster. It's about training your body not to react. So she swears by this technique. Mm -hmm. Obviously they still need to do some more research, but All right. good help. Understandable. Thank you very much, Evan.